following a developing story tonight. Area lawmakers looking to keep pedestrians safe with new legislation. This comes as parents from a Green Bay school voice their frustration with speeders. NBC 26's Alex Hagan is live in Green Bay tonight with more. Alex. Good evening, Stacey. Well, parents say Monroe Avenue in Green Bay is a perfect example of the ongoing issues with pedestrian safety in our state. And right now, there are ongoing efforts to try and fix this issue, both at the state and local levels. Everybody going fast. The cops showed up. Brian Schrader of Green Bay says it's time to do something. Oh, yeah. After a dog was killed crossing the row outside Aldo Leopold Elementary. One good example of, of many at risk school zones. Schrader says it's only a matter of time before a person is hit, which is why he's calling on city leaders to fix the problem. Something to, to actually slow people down. And Council President Tom DeWayne agrees. We have people that are. At uh, speed, no matter what, they don't follow signs and stuff like that. So reinforcement is the only way, uh, way we're going to curb this. But that's not all. Now area lawmakers are getting involved in this statewide issue. They want to require drivers to wait until pedestrians completely cross the crosswalk. Representatives Eric Genrick and David Steffen co-authored that legislation, which is currently circulating in Madison. But it won't happen. But Schrader says more needs to be done. That's the bottom line. People are distracted, and the only way to actually stop them is to... Uh, to put something in their way. He hopes this example brings awareness to this statewide problem. Now, Schrader has actually set up a GoFundMe page to try and raise money for speed bumps along Monroe Avenue. There will also be a public meeting next Monday at Aldo Leopold Elementary School to discuss this issue. Reporting live tonight in Green Bay, I'm Alex Hagan with WC26. Thank you, Alex.